one there by McStay, but pushing the ball just too far ahead, he gets a break though. Out it goes to Burn the early cross, it's Collins! And John Collins gives Celtic the lead. Eight minutes gone here at Tannadice. And John Collins, who has a tremendous scoring record against Dundee United, does it again. It's fifth goal of the season, a great early cross from Burn. And a fine finish from John Collins, it's Dundee United nil, Celtic 1. This is exactly the kind of start that Celtic would want. A great early ball in from Paul Byrne. Nothing the goalkeeper or defenders can do when the ball's delivered in such a way. John Collins attacked it and it was easy for him to have a finish. And Celtic have certainly started the better of the two teams and do deserve to go 1-0 up. It's a big state. To Collins, Tosh McKinley line for Walker to chase, Petrich is with him. Again, a rather risky clearance by Petrich, putting Bowman in a bit of trouble. That comes off the head of O'Neill, and that's a free kick against McLaren. A little nudge there by the United player. Brian O'Neill started very well, he's won a few good headers against big Craig Brewster, which I'm sure will do a lot for his confidence, because it'll be a hard battle between himself and Brewster today. This is Boyd, giving away though to Malpass. It's played early by Brewster to Daly, that's a good ball. Boyd chasing with him. And the United man has to settle for the throw. I'd like to have seen Christian Daly taking it in and being more direct there. He gave Tom Boyd too much of a chance to get back at him and as soon as he had made the decision to step over the ball, Tommy was there with a good tackle. Malpass, providing the cross, and United have got the equaliser. 13 minutes gone, and Craig Brewster back in the first team this afternoon. How United have missed his goals. Well, he responds almost immediately. It's Dundee United 1, Celtic 1, the high ball flooded in. He had jumped the defender, Marshall got his hands to the ball, but couldn't give it out. And Craig Brewster gets just his second goal of the season, but a welcome one it is for Dundee United. Well, that's why he's back in the team, because even go like knows he's got a chance of putting balls like that into the box. And the big man getting his head on him, and that's exactly what he did. He got enough power on it. Big Gordon Marshall almost got a touch to it, or certainly did, but couldn't keep it from going in the net. And Dundee United are back in the game. It's McNally's head up. Johnson sends it through to Bowman. Bit of dithering by McNally. And Brewster firing the shot wide of target. But uh, dithering there by McNally, allowing the United player the chance. It's off the head of Daly. And McLaren shows a fair bit of pace here. He's caught by McNally, who's called over by the referee. And this will be a yellow card for the defender. Well, McLaren showing a lovely bit of pace. Is who swings it in, it's Welsh! And that one, just about scraping the outside of the post, Marshall diving across, superb header by the big defender, and this uh, Celtic defence being tested in the aerial battle. Well, they were certainly caught out once before, and they were almost caught out again. And if anything, if they're not going to win the header, at least, at least to put the man who's going to have the header off, United playing with a lot of confidence now. Bowman sends it through to McLaren. He's trying to take on O'Neill and he gets the corner kick. That brings a huge roar from the United fans. Well, both teams having a real go. Plenty of entertainment in the opening 20 minutes or so. So Petric has moved to the edge of the Celtic penalty area. He gets in the header, oh, that's a marvellous save by Marshall. A superb header by Gordon Petrich. And a save to equal it from Gordon Marshall. A powerful header by the United defender. And Marshall reacted so well. Roman sending in, looking for Christian Daly. McNally gets his head to that one. Grant gets a touch, it's McKinley. 
Well, again, the aerial threat from Dundee United at evidence, and that occasion it was Christian Daly. As the ball was swung over from the right-hand side, Daly climbing above the defence, and McNally making a good interception, especially with Brewster there. This is Johnson trying to get through. It's away now to Faulkner. Faulkner doing well against Petric. He's got Burden ahead of him. The cross comes well, so who read the situation and concedes the throw-in. by McKinley. And the outside flag has gone up against Brewster. Craig Brewster, the man who scored the winning goal in the Scottish Cup final last season. And we'll be hoping now to get a good run of matches going after his recent injury. Here he is again, working extremely hard. Losing out to Peter Grant. This is Collins. Tosh McKinley, good ball through, the opening's on for John Collins, great play by Collins, and he's got another one, 27 minutes gone, a second goal for John Collins, a second goal for Celtic, it's Dundee United 1, Celtic 2. Dundee United at 6 and 7, it looked as though there was no danger, John Collins drifted into the forward position, nobody picked him up, he cut inside, it was an easy finish for John, routine, it's a training goal, the D United questions will be asked at half time, I'm sure, just how he's able to run through un unattended. Here come United now. It's McLaren showing tremendous pace, and McNally recovers well. It's a good challenge. Still, United have it. It's McLaren again. McNally still with him. Good play by Andy McLaren. This is Bowman. Trying to find McLaren again, he has to slide in there, but uh, United giving the ball away. It's Collins playing it through to McStay. Walker's a lot of space on the right-hand side, but McStay caught there by Malpass. It's played through by McKinley. This is Brewster trying the early shot. And behind uh, for the goal kick. But a good open game. Good through ball by McKinley. Craig knows he's the last man here. There's two or three Celtic defenders. Quite entitled to have a pot with his left peg, he's got plenty of power. Unfortunately for him, just couldn't hit the target. Just kept in play by Faulkner, that was good play. Now it's Byrne, swinging in the cross, it's left by Petric and almost fell to Andy Walker. Well, Petric being extremely casual again. And almost allowing that ball through to Andy Walker. Collins working hard, trying to drive Celtic forward, as it should be well. The referee allows the advantage, but he may well take action against Brewster once the ball is out of play. And Brewster being called over. Well, he made the first challenge on Collins, who delivers so well. And then he tripped Burn, but uh, it's for the original challenge on Collins. It's played through by O'Neill. Grant Johnson, certainly Collins and McStay playing extremely well this afternoon, getting a grip of the midfield area. And well, this is Walker sending it through to Tosh McKinley. And that's what uh, Celtic paid out money for this week to Tosh McKinley pushing forward as often as possible down that left flank, something he's extremely good at. as Welsh. McLaren trying to find some kind of opening here. So Welsh will try the long throw. And this could be United's last chance of this first half. It's McKinley coming in, but uh, Walker does well to scramble the ball away. And uh, McKinley was just a little bit late. And that's a free kick. Awarded to Celtic with uh, two minutes of injury time played. Oh, 
There goes the half-time whistle. So applause from the Celtic fans. And a splendid first half for John Collins, who struck after just eight minutes. McStay got the break of the ball, sent it out to Byrne, and his early cross was fired into the net by Collins. And after 14 minutes, United equalised. The ball slung in from the left, and there was Brewster to hit the equaliser. But after 27 minutes, Tosh McKinley making his debut, sent a good ball through to Collins, some lovely skills from him, and he finished off in some style. The half-time score here at Tannadice, Dundee United 1, Celtic 2. So it's United who kick off the second half, but it's Celtic who are in the driving seat. Well, the club's uh, evenly matched uh, last season in the Premier League outings, uh, it ended four points apiece, but uh, Celtic this season beating United at Hamden in the league, and then repeating that in the League Cup quarter-final. And now leading this afternoon by two goals to one. Marshall had handled that one outside the box with the referee. Waving play on. I'll pass. And clears. And the Celtic making a change. Tosh McKinley has gone off. And. That's a change I don't think Celtic would have been contemplating. And on comes Simon Donnelly. So I can only imagine that Tosh McKinley took some kind of a knock in the first half. And he tried to continue in these seconds 45 minutes. That's a bit of a blow for him on his debut. And he was playing so well. Here come United now through Cleland. It's uh, O'Neill who's with him. And that's a corner kick. So an early chance for United to do something in the second half. Welsh moves forward, so too does Petric. A lot of movement uh, inside the area. Almost a boxing match going on involving McNally and Welsh. Surprising the referee saw none of it. But he saw that. Andy McLaren very, very lucky not to get booked there. That was almost assault on the line. The referee decided not to book him, but he'll have to be very careful in future, I'm sure. It's played through by Peter Grant. Well pass his header, Mick stays in there. This is Walker. Now it's Burton. A bit of holding going on there, it's Donnelly. And the save from the Hadlin, but there certainly seemed to be a bit of holding going on inside the area. As Byrne swung in the cross, a lot of jostling going on. Petrich there with Faulkner. This is Johnson. Touch from Christian Daly. Brewster has to backtrack a bit. Small pass to McKinley. It's Christian Daly. to Paul Byrne and Peter Grant, but uh, McKinley digs in well. Good play by McKinley. Still McKinley. Well, delightful play by the United midfield man. Making his 199th league appearance for United this afternoon. Delightful skills. Is any ball a cross goal? So United now. Making a change, Andy McLaren is leaving the field, and Jerry Nixon will replace him. And remember Nixon scoring a quite spectacular goal against Celtic at Hamden in the earlier league meeting. And they also come on here against Aberdeen, the match recovered and uh, really got United going that day. So, Ivan Golat's hoping that he can stir things up a bit. Awarded to United. And Boyd conceding it. So Petric and Welsh move forward. 
McKinley delivers across, the goalkeeper commits himself and uh, Marshall had completely lost that one. But fortunately for Celtic, the ball headed behind by Tom Boyd. Oh, big God, Marshall comes to claim this and doesn't make even any attempt to get it. We'll certainly be thankful there was a Celtic man behind him to head the ball away. There's still the pressure on, Welsh comes in, McNally gets a touch, Neil's here as well. A real commitment from both sets of players. And that's through now for Jerry Nixon. He hits the early ball. And still it's in play. But not now. So an early touch for Jerry Nixon. He might just be able to turn things around for United. Sends that one out of play. Faulkner well, kept running, and then the goalkeeper and forced him into that. This is Walker, but uh, loses out to Cleland. It's missed by Daly, picked up by Byrne. Grant slides in, Collins is there with Nixon. It's through now for Johnson. Brewster's in the middle, Nixon's arriving. That one falling just a little bit behind him. That gets the United fans going. Good flow and move by Dundee United here. Grant Johnson almost takes it to the line, just a little bit behind Jerry Nixon, just couldn't get enough on it to direct onto target. This is Walker, Collins. That's Tom Boyd. Donnelly. Boyd again. Played off by Walker, the chance on for Donnelly. Well, Simon Donnelly still looking for his first goal of the season. He cracked in five in the final ten games of last season when he broke into the first team. And they come United, breaking out of defence quite effectively, but the final ball, the poor one, Grant Johnson striking it. They have another chance here through Malpass. Turn. He finds difficulty. Now it's Welsh. This is Daly. Good teasing cross. Welsh was well forward. But McStay has it. In comes Nixon. It's Jerry Nixon. And it's off the line by Tom Boyd. Still United have it. This is Johnson. Played through by Malpass, Brewster's there, and the ball dips over the top. But it's Celtic really making things difficult for themselves, and Jerry Nixon almost punishing them. And it was Tom Boyd who managed to scoop the ball off the line. Christian Daly began it all, sending the high one into the middle. Welsh was well forward, and Neil it was who cleared. McStay tried to get it away, it broke through towards Nixon. And up pop Boyd on the line. Clear. Swept away by Johnson. That's Jerry Nixon down the line for Daly to chase, but uh, O'Neill reads that very quickly. Made up a lot of ground, and uh, he's been hurt in that exchange with Christian Daly. It wasn't a great deal Christian Daly can do about that. His momentum has taken him into Brian O'Neill, who did defend really well. You can see here, he gets across, plays the ball away. Certainly Christian Daly caught him in the chest with his knee, but really can't be faulted. Both players going for the ball 100%. There's been a lot of commitment from both sets of players. Celtic still leading by two goals to one. But um, actually that could go anyway. Celtic starting extremely well this afternoon. United coming back into the match. Celtic taking over again before half-time. United with the throw-in through the skipper Morris Malpass. This is Nixon, good turn by him, getting in the cross. O'Neill's there. Malpass sends it back into the middle. Oh, a superb goal by Christian Daly. A superb header. After 71 minutes.
It's now Dundee lighted two, Celtic two. A lovely turn out on the left hand side by Jared Nixon getting away from Peter Grant, swinging in the early cross. Was knocked away there by O'Neill. Mal pass followed through with a powerful header. And a brilliant finish from Christian Daly picking his spot in the corner of the net. A great goal by Dundee United. Christian Daly, he has had a little bit more urgency than himself in the second half. It was a superb header to beat Jordan Marshall in goal. This is mixed day now for Celtic. Looking for Donnelly. And Free becoming involved. This is Collins. Free kick is awarded against Cleland. So what can Celtic produce now? John Collins, who scored both the goals, prepares to take the free kick. McNally has moved into the area. Uh, Welsh is there. It's Collins' head up. That's Donnelly. Johnson's with him. Day caught by Nixon. So the throw in awarded to Freedom the United and Nixon racing forward. Brewster's in the middle. McNally didn't quite take that one. And has claimed for handball. And the referee pointing out towards the corner flag. The United very lucky even to get a corner out of it. Jared Nixon should have played the ball so much earlier to big Craig Rooster, who claims for a penalty, but nevertheless, the United have a corner. So, strong claims for handball there by the United players and their supporters. Meanwhile, the referee awards a free kick to Celtic. So, a couple of controversial moments there, because that all began with uh, the throw-in being given to United when uh, Celtic thought it was theirs. Nixon sprung forward, got the ball through, McNally failed to cut it out. Brewster was there, and then the final shot coming off the Celtic defender for the corner. O'Neill rather powerful with that header, corner kick now to United. Well, it really is getting quite dramatic out there. Well, when there's pressure put on a defender, you don't know what he can do. Brian trying to get enough power on it to get it back to the goalkeeper. Unfortunately, just get too much on it. So it's McKinley who swings it in, Welsh is up there. And Welsh complaining that uh, McNally had been shoving him, still play rages on. It's thrown out for Jared Nixon. And Celtic managed to scramble it clear. Collins is still in the ground, it was Collins who did enough to block United there. And he took a bit of a knock but he's back on his feet as plague is on, this is Simon Donnelly. McKinley crunches in. This is Nicholas, the Celtic substitute. It's Collins. And that comes off Patrick. Celtic's ball. I think everybody. Have you got Bedlam now? Sorry, yeah, I think everybody in the game. And the, and, and the stadium rather all animated and everything happening. And the D United and both Celtic try to get this one up. Donnelly trying to get forward, but uh, blocked there. Played by Walker, played by McKinley. McNally comes in. striker latching onto it. Yeah, Andy Walker certainly has his, his goals have been few and far between this last month, and that's as close as he's come today. As important as this game has been to both teams, Jerry, I'm 
sure, okay, they would have lo loved to have the three points. But with four goals scored, I think they'll be happy. So the final whistle sounds, warm handshakes between the managers. And Christian Daly throwing United a lifeline after 71 minutes. Mal pass, the United skipper sending the header back across the Celtic penalty area. And there was Daly rising to pick his spot in the back of the net. The final score at Tannadice, Dundee United 2, Celtic 2. Jerry, 2 2 a fair outcome in the end. I think so. I mean, Celtic began the game with a lot of conviction. McStay and Collins playing particularly well, and they got the reward with the, the opening goal. But uh, I think the aerial threat from United it did engulf them at one stage. They were really under a lot of pressure. And uh, when Brewster got the equaliser, uh, United had their tails up. In the space of a few minutes, Celtic were really toiling. Yeah, they were. I mean, the, the, the biggest problem for Celtic was every ball that came in like this. This is a, a great header by Big Brian Welsh. And it happened on a few occasions, and really, you know, okay, they didn't hit the target there, but Big Gordon Marshall has a, an absolutely superb save 